In 2019, Emirates operated 3,500 flights a week. That translates into 186,000 flights the whole year, traveling more than 885 million kilometers around the globe. That is a lot of flying hours for the Dubai-based airline, which operates the largest fleet of both Airbus and Boeing aircrafts in the world, with one A319 as an executive jet. Now, during my recent trip to Dubai, I had the opportunity of visiting Emirates Engineering, one of the world's most technologically advanced aircraft maintenance facilities. The $350 million facility at the Dubai International Airport was opened in 2006. To date, it has 255 aircraft in service, 12 hangars, and has conducted over 1,000 sea checks. The sea check is performed every 20 to 24 months or as specified by the manufacturer. This maintenance check is much more extensive than the B check, requiring a large majority of the aircraft's components to be inspected. Maintenance, repair and overhaul are very crucial in ensuring aircraft are in safe condition to fly. While some airlines outsource these services, Emirates has invested in this facility to maintain its growing air fleet. Each hangar, I'm told, has an entrance gate 88 meters wide and every bay can accommodate any size of aircraft with an engine thrust of up to 150,000 pounds. This includes the Airbus A380, which is 73 meters long, with an 80-meter wingspan and a tail 24 meters high. It was fascinating to see one of the Boeing 777s undergoing maintenance. The aircraft was undergoing a sea check. It had been stripped back to the steel structure and seating and interior furnishing taken out and it appeared it was being assembled all over again. It can take barely a month to complete maintenance work. When the seating and interior furnishing are taken out, they are sent to the workshop to be redone. We head to the next hangar where new seats for the massive A380 were being installed from economy to first class. So much investment goes into making the aircraft look brand new. Engineers are all being trained on uh, type rating, uh, type rating for uh, the type of aircraft that we have, uh, Airbus 380 as well as Boeing 777 and on their engines as well. They're all type rated. Technician would be also, uh, they have been also trained on uh, kind of a familiarization course because they don't certify it. The certification part is done only by engineers. And beside that, there will be a human factor and all the safety training and all the same. Evacuation and complete training that have been uh, set up for all engineers. After passing through the engine shop, our last stop was Aircraft Appearance Center, where the exterior of the aircraft is assessed. Painting usually takes about two weeks to complete and 17 hours for drying. To dry, uh, obviously, again, different paint manufacturers have different things, but this one here, if we put the, when we put the white on, it takes it 17 hours to dry. So when you put the white on, it takes 17 hours. You put your co the colours can be sort of like four to eight hours, the gold and that lot, and then the clear coat's another 17 hours. But because it's a big aircraft and you're doing the wings, which is a different colour to the white, you can do that, let that dry, and you can work other areas. So it's not as if to say, it, you paint it and then you go home. There's, there's, always, there's always another process to carry out during it. So it's, yeah. The makeover ILN involves preparing the aircraft, masking certain areas to protect them from paint, stripping the existing paint and sanding all the external surfaces before finally starting to repaint it. The A380 is painted after every seven to eight years. Emirates is rated among the safest airlines in the world and it makes much more sense having seen how much work goes into maintenance of its fleet.